A few weeks ago, Prince Harry was in New York City for some appearances related to his work with the Invictus Games Foundation, which provides sporting events for injured veterans. While he was there, Jimmy Fallon invited him on as a surprise guest for one of his late-night shows. Now, this raised some eyebrows in Hollywood because Kate Blanchett was also scheduled to be on that same episode to promote her new film. Blanchett had spent weeks doing interviews and appearances for the film leading up to its release. The Tonight Show was a major late-night spot she was counting on to get in front of a large audience. However, when she arrived at the studio, she was told that Fallon had booked Prince Harry for an unannounced appearance that would take up a significant portion of the show. According to insiders, Blanchett was furious about this last-minute change that pushed her segment back and shortened her time with Fallon. One crew member on the show said they overheard Blanchett complaining in her dressing room saying something along the lines of, who does Prince Harry think he is to just swoop in and take over like this? Does he have any idea how disrespectful this is to the real guests who do the hard work of promotion? Other reports of Blanchett shaking her head in disbelief backstage and muttering, royals, honestly under her breath. So what exactly went down when Blanchett finally did get to tape her segment? Eyewitnesses say the 51-year-old actress was deeply unhappy and clearly holding back anger during her conversation with Fallon. She smiled and laughed in the right places, but those who know her well said her smiles didn't reach her eyes. On top of that, her answers seemed curt and she talked at a fast pace to try and maximize her limited airtime. Afterwards in the hallway, one crew member said they saw Blanchett pacing back and forth on her phone, deep in a heated conversation. They couldn't make out exact words, but her tone and body language suggested she was giving someone an earful about the situation. Some reports even claim she was yelling loudly enough that Fallon himself came out of his office to see what the commotion was about. This whole debacle soon made its way backstage and now has caused some backlash against Prince Harry in Hollywood circles. There's a sense that he or his people should have been more considerate of Blanchett and others featured guests when agreeing to a surprise visit. Especially since he didn't even promote any particular project, he just came to chat with Fallon. Critics say The Tonight Show is supposed to provide important promotional space for people working in the industry. Of course, royal supporters argue that Prince Harry brings unique star power and public interest as a member of the British royal family. They say Fallon was right to capitalize on his chance to host an unexpected royal guest. But even so, many believe proper protocol would have been to give Blanchett a courtesy heads up about the scheduling change. As one producer told CNN, it wasn't very classy the way Kate got bounced aside at the last minute for an informal celebrity chat. The royals need to remember sometimes the people doing press are the real stars. Now some are speculating this whole saga may impact Harry's Hollywood standing going forward. Several publicists have confided they would think twice about booking him on shows if it meant disrupting scheduled guests. And Blanchett is so well-respected in the industry that few producers would want to risk incurring her wrath. Time will tell if any fallout continues from this backstage drama. But one thing is clear, you do not want to get in the way of Kate Blanchett promoting her work. When she commits her time to a project, she takes promotions very seriously. Ultimately, this controversy comes down to some larger debates about celebrity privilege and priorities in the entertainment world. On one hand, you have royals like Prince Harry who bring built-in buzz just by showing up. But on the other, Working actors depend on press opportunities and they invest a lot into readying themselves for scheduled interviews. Some say this is a wake-up call that royal surprises need to be properly planned and coordinated in the future. Others counter that a once-in-a-lifetime chance to host Prince Harry is hard to pass up. Either way, networks and talk shows would be wise to learn from this experience and handle similar situations more delicately going forward. No one wants to make an enemy of someone as influential as Blanchett within the industry. This story may have ended, but we'll be keeping an eye out to see if any fallout lingers between these two high-profile players. Thanks for listening, everyone.